Hello everyone. This is the third part of implementation of deleting multi users functionality in our Next.js MySQL crude application. So, back in VS Code, here you can see I'm in my project directory and I have already started my server. And this is our application. And this is the list of users. In the previous video, we have seen that whenever we check this checkbox, all these users will be checked and whenever we uncheck this checkbox then all these users will be unchecked and as soon as these users are checked their IDs will be stored in the state of checked user as you can see when I check this checkbox here you can see the IDs of all these three users is stored in the state of checked user and it is logging right here. Now, in this video, we will see how we can click on this delete button and the data of these three users will be deleted from the database. So, back in VS Code, in the project directory, from the components folder, open navbar.js file. And here, first of all, we will import use context hook and then we will import app context and then we will import check context like so and now here in the navbar function uh, we will use the app context and checked context. Uh, actually, we need to import app context from the context folder. Like so. And now we will here make a function. But before that, we will use the app context and checked context. So we will make a variable value and here we will use use context hook and here we will pass app context and then we will make another variable checked context data and here we will use the use context hook and here we will pass checked context like that and now we will make a function async handle multi delete here we will write function keyword and uh, in this function we will accept an argument of event and below down in the delete all button we will use on click function so i will write on click and here i will use an arrow function this will be an async function here I will pass the event and here I will write handle multi delete and here I will use the await keyword and here I will pass the event as the argument now in the handle multi delete function will make a variable request options and here we will pass headers and we will pass contact content type as application json and method as delete and 
body as json stringify ids and here we will make a variable const checked ids and here we will use the checked context data and we will use checked we will see the name of the data so we will open layout.js file and here you can see we have the data uh, in the key of checked user of value prop so here we will use checked user like so and here in the body we will pass checked ids and now here we will make a variable response and then we will use the fetch api here we will write our endpoint api users delete multi and then here we will pass request options then we will convert the response into json format so i will write await response dot json and then we will check first we will check the response what is coming in the response so we will open pages folder api users and delete multi dot js and here you can see we have the json response of success deleted multi message here along with it we will pass ids of users which are going to be deleted now in the navbar.js file we will write if there is id in the result then what we will do we will set the alert message actually we need to pass set alert message as a prop in this navbar component so in the layout.js file we will pass a prop of set alert message and here we will pass the function set alert message and now in the navbar.js file we will destructure the set alert message function so we will write set alert message and then here in the if condition we will write set alert message and we will set the message of multi users deleted like that and now we will make a variable of new users and here we will use the value dot state uh, we have passed this value context from the layout.js file uh, i think we have passed the value context from index.js file from the pages folder so here you can see we have two keys in the app context the first one is users and the second one is set my users so we are using the app context in this navbar.js file in the value variable so here we will use the users key and here we will use filter to filter out the user which are deleted so here we will write return 
result dot ids dot index of and here we will write user id and here we will use not equal to minus one what does this line means this line means that if the user present in this user's state having the id which is matching to this id's object then we will not return that user in this new user variable and now below it we will use the set my users function and then we will set new users in the app context now let's see what happens in the web application so i will refresh the page and now i will open console here i will check all these users here you can see the state is maintained correctly i will move to the second page and here i will check all the users and then i will click on this delete button Uh, here you can see nothing happened. So I think there's an issue in the navbar.js file Okay, so here we need to use the prevent default function In the handle multi delete function To prevent the default actions of this button Delete all data And now let's Check in the browser So I will refresh the page I think there's an issue. Okay, so there's an issue in the header. We need to write only one C in the application JSON. Now add new employees. And here you can see now I have added five accounts and I will refresh the page and now I will open console and here I will check these users and now I will click on this delete button and as you can see multi users deleted so the multi user delete functionality is working correctly now let's refresh the page and here you can see we have only one page right here now let's test again so i will add two new accounts so And here you can see we have two new accounts now let's delete this account so i will check these accounts and i will click on this delete button and here you can see uh, an alert has shown up with the message multi users deleted and now let's refresh the page and here you can see now we have only one page of the first three users so uh, that's the working of delete multi users functionality uh, that's all for this video guys in the next video we will see how we can uh, set up environment variables in our next js mysql crude application uh, which will help us in deployment of this application on the virtual so meet you in the next video guys thank you very much